Hello everybody, I'm Thorion and today I will show you 5 secret stage builder tricks in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Number 1 Did you know that it's possible to make extra thin platforms? To do so, we're going to make a certain shape with the help of the grid. We are going to start drawing this shape in the top left corner, go all the way down, and then to the bottom right corner. After that, we'll go three squares diagonally upwards on the grid, over the bottom left corner. Next, we're going to finish drawing our shape, and then shrink it from the bottom to the top. Once done, these thin platforms are impenetrable. Number 2 you can hide objects or fighters by making an open piece of terrain. To do so, we'll activate the grid and draw the following shape starting with its bottom left corner and continuing up to its top left part. After that, we'll shrink it until the front side of the terrain appears. With this type of terrain, we can hide fighters, hazards and mechanisms without using another layer. This trick pairs up very well with the first one, enabling us to make perfectly hidden traps. We can also make warp pipes, boxes, minecarts, boats, and more. Number 3 If we follow the same procedure as in the first trick shown in this video, but this time with only one grid square, the platform will be so thin that fighters won't be able to interact with it. This allows us to decorate normal terrain with ice to prevent slipping, or even walk on lava without being damaged. Number 4 You can launch terrain or hazards by making a catapult. To build one, we're going to make a giant spoon made out of wood and attach a flat piece of circular terrain near its end. After that, we'll place two pieces of terrain under the spoon to hold it in place. Next, we'll place a piece of terrain over the catapult to prevent the spoon from falling out of the stage. For the counterweight, I'd recommend using steel or marble, and for the platform fighters will be standing on, I'd recommend using bouncy rubber just to make sure that the projectiles used won't stay on it. Getting the catapult to launch the objects the way we want it to is not an easy task and might take a while, but once done you can launch cannons, lava and pretty much anything that can be affected by gravity. Show me a move. Welcome. <laughs> yes. Number 5 you can influence fighters' spawn locations by placing a block of lava over platforms and attaching a rail to it, then stretch one end of the rail to the limit of the drawing space and the other one out of the block of lava. After that, we will untick the box return at edge so that the block of lava won't bother us during battle. If you want the block of lava to move out of the screen faster, you can attach a gear to it, then separate the gear from the block of lava. To make sure that it stays out of the screen, we're going to follow the same procedure with another piece of terrain, only this time we will make the gear rotate in the opposite direction so that it will keep the piece of lava from coming back into the stage. If you liked this video, please let me know in the comments, I'd really appreciate it, and for now, bye!